Today's video is how to zero your AK-74 chambered in 5.45. There's two very common ways to do it. One is the way we're going to do today, and the other way is to just set your uh, rear sight at the battle, battle setting and uh, zero at 50 meters and go from there. That's not quite as fun as what we're going to do today. Um, today we're going to do the other way. We're going to zero at 25 meters, then confirm and adjust at 100 meters, which is the way, at least from my understanding, that the Russians do it. So we're going to go ahead and put a couple shots here on the target, which is set up 25 meters down range. We'll show you what we get and uh, go from there. So here's our target down range. What we saw here is we're off to the right a little bit and we're high. So, if you go ahead and look at this handy dandy how to zero an AK uh, sheet, which you don't need, but I put it out here just so you guys could see it and see how it works. Um, it's telling us to push the front sight to the right, which is what we're going to do just slightly here because we're not too far off. And uh, also, we're going to go ahead and, uh, and turn the front sight in this direction. As you can see, the arrow right, goes. So, here's our front sight. We're going to turn it in the direction with the uh, AK tool that it described. What you're actually doing is raising that front sight, which will go ahead and move your shots down. We'll give it a couple turns, we were pretty high there. That was a terrible group, by the way. <laughs> um, and then we're also gonna push the front sight to the right. So as you guys can see here, this tool, for those of you guys that aren't familiar with it, you're gonna line this part up with uh, this piece right here on the barrel and push it that way, on the uh, sight, I should say. So go ahead and line them up and just push it on through. Time for group number two. Hopefully this one's a little bit better. Check it out. As you guys can see, we're not doing so hot today. Here's one shot, here's another shot. As you can see, we, it looks like we overcorrected a little bit for the uh, windage elevation. And uh, in, terms of, in terms of the elevation, we're still a little bit high, so we're going to bring that down again just like we did last time and uh, just push that front sight a little bit slightly to the left. We're going to go ahead and turn that front sight again. Again, you're really actually raising it, and that lowers the impact. So we're going to turn it a little bit and go ahead and push that... Uh, front sight back over a little bit to the uh, to the left because we we're hitting that way and we'll shoot that group my guess is that'll probably do it hopefully I'll tighten it up as well let's see well it looks like we overcorrected again but we got the uh, elevation pretty good what I'm going to do now is actually I'm going to back up to 100 meters and verify that. Because these little things right here that could just be shooter error or not, we don't really know, are really going to show themselves out at 100 meters. So we're going to back it up and uh, take those shots and do the uh, confirmation of the zero. Let's see what we get. Alright y'all, so you see the target there. Um, it's pretty much exactly what I was expecting. The reason is, obviously, we were shooting before at 25 meters, and this is at 100 meters. So, where the paths of those that round intersects isn't exactly the same. You're generally going to be a little bit high at 100 meters. It's still a little bit to the right, which is what we were shooting last time. So what I'm going to do there, go ahead and raise that front slide up a little bit to compensate for the elevation. And go ahead and move the uh, front sight over to the right as well. And uh, that'll be it, we'll have a zeroed rifle. But again, the way we're zeroing today is the way where you set it at 100, 100 meters on your rear sight and then you use your ladder all the way through. If you're not gonna do that and you want one zero, I suggest using the 50 meter zero with your AK-74s. We'll put some numbers in the bottom as well that I'll explain um, your trajectories at different distances and how far over and how far under you're gonna be. But 
Either way works, both ways work well. You just need to know your zero and know what your bullet's gonna do, because your bullet's not gonna lie. But um, as always, guys, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, um, thoughts about the video, uh, questions about what your gun's doing and why it's doing it, go ahead, feel free to post them here or over at my Facebook page. I'll do my best to get back to you. And thanks for subscribing, thanks for watching. We appreciate it, and we'll see you in the next video.